All right, welcome to lesson eight. You come down to the GitHub repo associated with this course. We can scroll down to lesson eight and all the code that we're gonna be working with is here. Now, it's gonna be a little bit easier. You do not have to code at all for this one. Congratulations. For this one, we're gonna do it a little bit different. For this one, I'm going to teach you the basics of how your MetaMask or how your wallet interacts with a website so that you have that foundational knowledge. I think it's incredibly important for you to know how to do this, and it's incredibly important for you to verify that your wallet is sending the transaction that you actually want it to send. We are not going to be teaching you how to build a full stack application here. However, if you want, there are some examples on how to do this in the full blockchain Solidity course JS, where we actually make full stack applications with Node.js. However, this HTML FundMe F23 has a very basic raw JavaScript full website application that if you want to try to replicate it, you can absolutely do so. Additionally, once we get web3education.dev up, we will have some full stack examples in here as well. But it is important that you understand what's going on under the hood when you're interacting with these websites. And the knowledge we're going to teach you here will work for every single website that you interact with. So you can actually know exactly what's going on when you interact with a website sending a transaction to the blockchain. So normally I walk you through what we're going to do, but for this one, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to jump right in. And now that you've downloaded Git and you've been working with Git and GitHub, we can actually start working with this code base as if we had just come across it. So if we pull up our code base, we're at Foundry F23, that repo with all of our code in it. What we can do is we can copy this URL and begin to work with it as if we just downloaded right from GitHub. Now, all of my readmes, like I said, are going to have this quick start, which you can go ahead and follow. This, of course, should be Cypher. But what we could do to get started with this Git repo is we can go ahead and clone it, Git clone, paste that in here. And then we can code HTML, fund me F23 or file, open that. Oh, it looks like I already have it open here. And great, we have this HTML fund me repo here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to spin up this website. So this HTML fund me has some very basic HTML and JavaScript to run a website. I'm going to use this extension called live server, which you can install to run the website right from your VS code. Alternatively, you can open this up. You could right click, reveal in finder, or just open this up in whatever file explorer you that you use, double click it and open it up right in your browser. And this is what the website looks like. I'm going to go ahead though and use this go live button instead, which will open it up here as opposed to in my path, the VS code will actually be serving it up. So this is the website. This is the minimalistic website that we're going to be using to show you exactly how MetaMask interacts with the website. 